Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of our primary tree science. So, you guys might be wondering, hey Racing Reagan, what are we gonna do in our second episode of science? Well, we, there are four groups of living things, animals, plants, fungi, and microorganisms. So today, we are gonna learn these stuff in science, okay? So, let's start. So, Animals can be classified into seven groups according to their characteristics. Amphibians, birds, crustaceans, fish, insects, mammals, and reptiles. So you guys might be wondering, what are crustaceans? So for example, for crustaceans are uh, crab and prawn, they have, because they have like hard shells. So that's why they're called crustaceans. But Turtle does has a hard shell, but it's not a crustacean. It is a reptile. Okay, so you won't you guys won't get confused between um, a reptile and a crustacean. Amphibians. Amphibians have moist skin as their body covering. Amphibians breathe through gills when they are young. They don't breathe through gills when they are adult already. Okay, and breathe through moist skin or lungs when they reach the adult stage. Most amphibians reproduce by laying eggs in the water. Amphibians are cold-blooded animals. Amphibians are vertebrates. Examples of amphibians are the toad, the frog, the newt, and the salamander. Birds have feathers as their body covering. The feathers keep them warm, protect their bodies, enable them to fly and help them to attract mate. Each bird has a beak. Each bird has two legs. Each bird has, has a pair of wings. All birds have wings but not all birds can fly. So what they are saying means, of course, all birds have, wing, have wings. But then some birds like the ostrich, the penguins, they cannot fly. But like the miner, they can fly. But this for example of the flying birds and the non-flying birds. Okay. All birds reproduce by laying eggs. Birds breathe through lungs. Birds are warm-blooded animals. Birds are vertebrates. Here are some examples of flightless birds. The emu, the penguin, the ostrich and the kiwi. And here are examples of of birds that can fly, the eagle, the pelican, the swallow, and the parrot. Fish. Most fish have scales as their body covering. Some fish like the eel, catfish, and mudskipper have a leathery skin. Seahorses is also a fish but it does not have scales. Okay, so they are fish but they just don't have any scales. So that's why we say most fish have scales, some they don't. Fish have fins. The fins help the fish to swim, balance and steer its body in the water. The tail helps the fish to swim forward. Most fish reproduce by laying eggs. Guppy, molly and swaptail are examples of fish that give birth to their young. Fish breathe through gills. Gills are under the gill cover. Blood vessels on the gills absorb the dissolved oxygen in the water as the water enters the mouth and passes through the gills. Fish are cold-blooded animals. Their body temperature changes with the surroundings. So guys, one thing I want to tell you. So vertebrates means they have the backbone. But invertebrates means they do not have backbones. And if you guys don't know, if your cold-blooded animals, right, means they'll follow the temperature around them. But for us, warm-blooded means like our temperature can be 36.7, but outside can be 32. 
um, get degrees. Guys, hope you like and subscribe. Ring notifications so be ready for our next science video. See you guys.